Shalom Shalom Mishpocha. This is Rabbi Yehuda Ben Shomer. Um, it's been a really long time since I posted a video, uh, well over a year. Um, I can't promise you that there'll be any more coming soon or not. But uh, I did want to talk about uh, the Torah portion of Nisvaim, which is Deuteronomy 29, uh, verse 10 through chapter 30, verse 20. And the main theme of this Torah portion is the, re the renewing of the covenant with Hashem, the renewing of the Torah covenant specifically with Hashem. And as this Hebraic year, 5775, comes to a close, uh, this Torah portion causes us to uh, renew that commitment to Torah, that commitment to Messiah, that commitment to Yud Hevavhe, uh, for the coming year, because I tell you, it's not going to be a joyride. Uh, we've seen a, a very small taste of what is to come, and what's coming is persecution. The biggest cost that we had uh, in being a Torah observant believer in Messiah Yeshua is getting made fun of, uh, being rejected by family and friends, <laughs> boo hoo, boo hoo, right? Um, but this past year, on television, we've seen brothers and sisters in Messiah Yeshua being beheaded for the name of Messiah and for the Word of God. Uh, just recently on the news, we've seen a sister in Messiah uh, being jailed for her beliefs, for her convictions on standing on uh, the marriage, the defini definition of marriage between being between one man and one woman and rejecting the society's acceptance of homosexuality. Um, what's it going to cost us? You know, bef before you stand under that chuppah and face Hashem and renew the vows of the covenant of Torah, you better think twice about what the price may be. It may not be a simple rejection by a family or friend. It may literally cost you your job, your ministry, your congregation, your freedom. It may cost you jail or court. Are you willing to do that, to stand firm on Torah and Messiah and to suffer? God forbid, that it cost you your life. It cost our brothers and sisters in Egypt their life in Syria, in China, in North Korea, all over the world, there's been persecution of believers in Messiah Yeshua. It has yet to come to Western shores, but it's coming, I assure you, mark my words, it's coming. Will you be ready? Will you stand firm? You know, as you walk down the aisle to renew the covenant vows, there's going to be other, other people, other things, other idols in the aisles vying for your loyalty, your love, and your attention, whether it be lust, whether it be money, whether it be power, whether it be prestige, whether it be reputation, whether it, it, it be, you know, your job or, or whether it be whatever it may be, addictions, whatever. Are you gonna are you gonna have cold feet? Are you gonna have second thoughts? Or are you gonna just ignore them all and go straight under the hoopa and renew the vows? And you know, it's not just you that's renewing these vows before Hashem. You are standing in proxy for the generations, according to this Torah portion, you're standing in proxy for the generations that are yet to be born. The ones that are going to carry your torch once you fall dead, they're going to pick it up and run with it. Is it going to still be lit and flaming by the time you die? Are you going to have somebody on the other end of your life to pass that torch to, to, to make it go on? And you know what? Guess who else is covered in this renewal of the Torah, this renewal of covenant? Not just Jews and Hebrews, but who else was there at this renewal? You know, it was, it was, it was uh, the, the, the Gentiles, the nations, the ones that were captured or the ones that decided to, to, to travel with and be a part of Israel when they left Egypt. This renewal... Even though blessings come with this renewal and this restoration, blessings come, initially there's pain. Why? Because to renew these vows of Torah for the coming year, you've got to have your heart circumcised afresh. You're going to have to face all the ugliness of who you were last year, 
of all the ugliness and, the, and the, the demons that you created in your life. And you're going to have to face those and stare those down. And you're going to have to let Hashem take, his, take the scalpel of his word and circumcise the foreskin of your heart. That doesn't feel good. It doesn't give you all the tickly tinglies and goose bumpies. It's painful. It hurts. Are you willing to go through that? Are you willing? Can you handle it? And you know, this renewal of the covenant of Torah for the coming year isn't something that's mystical and oogie-boogie and out there and wispy and unattainable. No, the Torah, this Torah portion says that it's doable. It's achievable. It's in your grasp. It's in your sights. You can do it. So the time is now. The choice is yours and yours alone. What do you say? What are you going to do? The answer to these questions will determine the unfolding of 5776 this new year for you. Shalom and Shavuot Tov.